Hey guys, Kevin with GoForLax, and today we're reviewing the STX Alliance 2D. So this is STX's newest shaft, and it's the newest shaft in the Alliance line. What makes this different from the other Alliance lines? Um, well, all the Alliance lines are carbon fiber, so that's not changing. This is still carbon fiber. But they've introduced some new and unique technologies to this that separate it from the other ones. Uh, first and foremost, let's go over the shape. At first, I was a little hesitant because of the profiles that they show makes it feel like it would sit really weird in your hand. Luckily, at LaxCon, I was able to use one for a little bit and realize that the shape is actually pretty natural to your hand, um, and I really dig it. So it's the shape, the ridge uh, profile. So if you look here, on the sides, you can see that it's your traditional regular lacrosse shape. But as we turn it to the light on the top, here, and on the bottom, you can see that it almost arcs. So what it reminded me of was back in the day, the, the beer Trilax handles. Now, way back in the day, before the gate ice, these were the, the beer gate handles to get problem with them was they were alloy and they snapped like the toothpicks but they had this teardrop shape on the bottom um, where this is kind of carry that over to the top but it was also very smooth where the STX one has those ridges so it gives you that control and the, the handle doesn't really slip or turn in your hands like those would so it fits really really nicely um, like I said, the profile pics, what they show of the end of it, doesn't do this justice. I really like that. Um, let's go to the offset, the other key point in this. So you can barely tell as I'm holding that there, there's any offset right here. Um, Trice at Sports Stops kind of even actually put a ruler on his and you can barely see that, you know, two degree or less offset on that. What that does is pulls the offset of the stick down and not only gives you a really clean, hard, uh, quicker shot, but as you're cradling or moving the stick around, you don't lose track of the ball in the pocket. You can feel the pockets, the ball's rolling low or moving high. So there's really no guesswork there. It's almost like an old school traditional. You know exactly where the ball is wherever it goes. Also, the nice thing about this two set is so minimal that you can use any head. Again, ECD Rebel, no issue getting on. Le unlike the Crux 600 or even some of these Trilax ones, unless you use the Phantom head that was exactly for this, you can't get the other heads on there because it's so arced. Not the case with uh, the Alliance, so it's nice. You don't have to cram just one head on it. You can use any head you like. Um, as far as shooting, I really like shooting with this thing. It took me a good quarter of a game, half a game, to realize that it's gonna come out a little quicker, almost like on par with the, the Rift. So you have to snap your wrist a little quicker than you normally think of it once you do that. It comes out nice. I can't say enough on this. I really digged it. Um, durability. This sucker is a little heavier than some of the other shafts I've reviewed, but you're talking a few grams. You're not talking like pounds. I mean, it's still extremely light. And as you can see, it can take a beating. So high water marks for all of that. Uh, let's go with uh, some cons on it. The first one is just the, the price point. At 140 bucks. it's the high end of the marketplace on shafts. Um, that being said, I really like it. Um, you know, I'd spend, I'd spend the money on it for me, but that's just me. I really liked it how this worked and I can see when I'm done with all the carbon fiber reviews, this one easily staying in the rotation. 
um, nitpicky pros and or nitpicky cons. The color. I wish there were a couple more colorways. Um, you know, they have the silver or the chrome in there. I would love to have seen uh, one in that colorway. And if it's the high end STX shaft, throw one of these on there. Um, it makes it uh, easier so I don't have to pull one off the uh, one of my other shafts or use one of those. But so let's recap. Interesting looking shape. You get used to it after the first pass or shot, or first couple of those. So I really like the design and I can see them starting to work this into more of their metal shafts um, and even the offset. It, uh, every time a company comes out and says, okay, well, we've improved this, this, and this on shafts, sometimes it sounds gimmicky and sometimes it works. On this one, it really works. Uh, so, the STX Alliance 2D, I can't say enough good things about it. If I had to knock it, price point. Um, if it was a little cheaper, I think it would be an absolute home run. If you have any questions, hit me up, and in the next week or so, you guys will get a chance to vote on the next review that I do. Thanks.